subscribe now and press the bell icon to never miss an update from bit expert hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is bit expert and today we are going to see how to add iol and iou images in eveng first of all i would like to apologize that i was not able to upload the videos regularly because i have been working on my website the website's URL is in the description below. You will find all the Cisco CCNA and CCNP labs on the website. I'm still working on the uh, website, uh, but you can always check out for new labs on my website because my aim is to provide you with a website which will have all the Cisco CCNA and CCNP labs documented for you to practice. In my previous video, I have showed how to do the initial setup of EVENG. For those who have not seen that video, Click on the link appearing right here on your screen. And now let's see how to add IOU and IOL images in EVENG. So let's get started. Now power on the virtual machine. Open your web browser and download and install WinSCP. WinSCP is a free FTP client for Windows. We need this application to load the iOS image to the EVE virtual machine. Select typical installation, which is also the recommended one and click next. User interface type will be commander, then click install. Click next. Click finish. Open WinSCP and under the host name, type the IP address which you receive on your virtual machine. So here it is 192.168.1.173. Username is root and the password is EVE. Click on save and provide a site name. Select the site name which you created and click login. Click yes to proceed. Now to add the IOL images, follow the path which is displayed on your screen. Go to the folder OPT Unit Lab Add-ons IOL Bin. On the left hand side, browse for the folder where you have saved your IOL images. In my case, the IOL image is located in my USB. Select all the images, drag it and drop it on the right side, click OK. Now right click on the image and go to properties. You should be able to see the octal value as 0755. Log in to your VMware workstation and type cd slash opt slash unit lab slash add-ons slash iol slash bin and press enter. Type ls. As you can see, all the images are successfully saved in the directory. Now we need to assign the permissions to use these images.
run the command slash opt slash unit lab slash wrappers slash unl underscore wrapper space hyphen a fix permissions. Now type ls. As you can see that now the images can be used. Open your browser, log in and create a new lab. Right click and add a node. Select Cisco IOL. Select Linux L3 image from the drop down list. Now since this is an IOL image, you can assign 256 MB of RAM. Assign the name router and click save. Right click and add a node, this time you will select Linux L2 image from your drop down list. Provide a name and select the switch icon from the drop down. 256 MB of RAM and click save. Connect the switch and router, click save and start the devices. Now as you can see, we cannot open the CLI to configure the device. To fix this issue, you will have to download and install the Windows integration pack from EVENG website.
now click on the router click open SSH telnet and remote login client now you can see that we can access the router Click on the switch and now you can configure the switch also. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Until then, this is your host BitExpert signing off. See you next time.